new prototype of Russia's Superjet, which is equipped with domestically produced PD-8 engines, successfully completed its maiden flight in Komsomolsk on Amur. This achievement is a significant milestone for Russia's aviation industry and its ongoing import substitution program. The flight, which reached altitudes of up to 3,000 meters and velocities of 500 kilometers per hour, lasted approximately 40 minutes. The gas dynamic stability of the PD-8 engines and the aircraft's Russian-made onboard systems were effectively validated during this test, thereby confirming the engine's reliable and stable performance. The modern twin-spool turbofan, the PD-8 engine, was developed by UEC Saturn in Rybinsk to supplant the Franco-Russian SAM-146 engine that was previously employed on the Superjet. This transition is a direct response to international sanctions, with the objective of establishing a regional jet that is technologically independent and completely Russian. The PD-8 is equipped with sophisticated domestic materials, additive manufacturing, 3D printing, and engineering solutions that are derived from the larger PD-14 engine program. Russia's aviation engine industry possesses all the necessary competencies to develop modern gas turbine engines. Today, as proof of this, our designer's PD-8 engines lifted the Russian superjet into the sky. This is an important step in the certification testing program for these power plants and in preparing them for serial production. Rosaviatsia, the Ministry of Industry and Trade, the state corporation Rostec, UAC, and UEC, a united team made this flight possible. Said Alexander Grachev, CEO of UEC and a board member of the National Engineering Industry Employers Union, Union of Mechanical Engineers of Russia, Rostec and United Aircraft Corporation, UAC, are leading the broader import substitution program, which is overseen by PJSC Yakhlev. The program entails the replacement of approximately 40 foreign systems and components. These consist of avionics, landing gear, auxiliary propulsion, integrated flight control, power supply, air conditioning, and fire protection systems. The aircraft's fuselage has been redesigned to facilitate production and maintenance by utilizing Russian materials and technologies. The Superjet's successful inaugural flight with PD-8 engines is merely the commencement of a comprehensive certification process. The program intends to undertake approximately 200 test flights to guarantee the aircraft's operational reliability, performance, and safety prior to its entry into serial production. The initial prototype utilized for this flight still includes some imported systems. However, the ultimate objective is to deploy a fully Russian SJ-100, with subsequent prototypes already being constructed entirely from domestic components. The Russian government is providing comprehensive financial and resource support through agencies such as Rostec, the Ministry of Industry and Trade, and Rosaviatsia. The objective is to attain certification for the PD-8 engine by the conclusion of 2025, and serial production of both engines and aircraft will be increased in tandem. This accomplishment is regarded as a testament to the capabilities of Russia's aviation engine industry, which is now one of the few globally capable of independently designing and manufacturing current gas turbine engines. The SJ-100 project is a critical component of Russia's strategy to modernize its commercial fleet and decrease its reliance on foreign suppliers, particularly in light of the current economic and geopolitical challenges. The government has already placed initial orders for 20 units for domestic airlines, with a total of over 150 aircraft on order, including commitments from Aeroflot and other carriers. The successful test flight of the Superjet with PD-8 engines is a critical milestone in Russia's aviation sector's pursuit of technological sovereignty. It serves as a testament to the nation's ability to surmount external constraints and re-establish its aerospace industry on a completely domestic basis. Now, do you think Russia should not have waited for sanctions and done it even before? Please let us know in the comments. Please like, subscribe, and share our videos. In addition, please take our memberships.